but the city was ever a pain to David. But can I tell you? Can I tell you? When, when Solomon got ready to build the temple, David said, Look right there. I'll build it there. I'll give him the gold and silver and the I want him to be a beautiful thing that we're doing for God. And he said, he, he said I'll bring him. And he brought big cedar board. Yeah. Yeah, yeah boy. And he brought him in. And he, and he made it a beautiful place. And that temple, God's temple was built right on that mountain. Right there. Hallelujah to the God. To the name of God. And that's where Jesus, look at me. That's where Jesus, the son of David, the greater son of David. I didn't say that. Uh -huh. Jesus, the greater son of David. That's where he died. For people, rebels, just like me and you. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That's where he died. For us. You see, Brother Chuck, I, I, I have to suffer for my sins. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. You'll never pay for your sins. You'll never suffer. You may suffer because of your sins, yeah, right. but you'll never you'll never suffer to get saved from your sins. You can never suffer enough, but Jesus paid it all. All to Him I owe. Sin had left a crimson stain, but He washed it white as snow. I know my remarks have been scattering, and, and, but I've done I've just done my best. That's wonderful. I've done the very best. Wonderful, wonderful. May the special saving grace of the Lord Jesus. Listen to me. Listen to me. If you hear his voice. Here, here's the way, here's the way salvation comes. It is if you hear his voice. Or you hear his voice. Something speaking to your heart. Saying, Lo, this is the way. Walk in it. I'm the way. Listen to what he says. Say, Yea, Lord. I believe that. And I believe that with all my heart. You say, Brother Chuck, you can't even say that. The truth of the matter is, most of us are saved there. We come to the knowledge of it somewhere else. Amen. And when you first believe, yeah. that's when you were saved. Yeah. But we come to the knowledge of it on down the road. We come to the knowledge of it. Some people say that you get saved and then you get sanctified. And then you get healed with the Holy Ghost. Now I want to tell you something. <laughs> I want to tell you something. When God saved me, I got the Holy Ghost. That's right. I got all at one time. You ever been there? Listen, then. Somebody said, Brother Chuck, you can get saved and then you get healed and then you get healed. Well, what you need, you need the Holy Ghost. What you need, what you need is a uh, power. I got all I said, I'll ever get. I got all I'll ever get. And, and listen, they, they say, well, Brother Chuck, uh, and you don't, you, all you can do is preach. That's about all you can do. That's about all anybody can do. Hey, 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 Amen. <laughs> Under the influence of the Holy Ghost. Now listen to what he said. He said, I, I, I said, Brother Chuck, you, you need to go back and see get your little tongue. Oh, no, no. I had a tongue. I already had a tongue. Uh, I just learned how to, I didn't even learn how to talk. <laughs> hey, my teeth. Hey, I brought my children. I, I tell you, folks, listen to me. I brought my children. Three, three little children, two boys and one girl. I brought them home from the hospital. And I said, Sue, I, I said, oh, no. I said, Sue, there's something wrong. These children ain't got no hair. They don't have no teeth. They don't have no eyelashes. They don't have no eyebrows. It's just a little ball of hair right here in the back of the head. That's all it was. And I said, we need to take these children back and get the rest of the stuff. And, I, and, and the doctor said, no, no. All, listen to this, all that he ever, he will ever have is in there. It just needs to come out. <laughs> and after we fed them that good meal and fed them a little meat, after a while, there's a white place coming right, right up there. And, and guess what that was? It was a tube that come in. And all of a sudden, in, in less than a month or two, their mouth was full of teeth. No, no. That's what we call growth yeah. and development. You don't get it all. You get all 
that you will ever need when you're born. Yeah. I mean, I, I, there wasn't no way I could send that little babies back to mommy's womb to get something else. When they was delivered, when they was delivered, and birth means delivered, did you know that? And now babies were delivered, that was all, that's everything in there. Everything in there. You got everything you need. That's the truth. I'll tell you the truth. And, 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 and listen, and I'm getting old now. You keep telling by looking at me. <laughs> but I'm getting old now. And I fall. I have fallen two or three times. I'm scared. I, I will hold on to everything. And, and me and mommy and mommy's fell a couple of times. And, and and our children, I've got two living with my our old daughter. Our daughter, 54 years old. Uh, Christmas two years ago, she went to heaven. I mean to tell you, it took something out of it. But me and mommy, let's just we make me and mommy say the war is given. The war is taken and the war is taken away. And blessed be the name of the Lord. Listen, boys and girls, God is in control here. Amen. But we got two boys left. And, and they kind of aggravate us a little bit because they, they don't, they don't always say, Daddy, don't go. You'll fall down somewhere and something will happen to you. And I said, now I'll tell you something. Can I tell you something? The man who saved me 62 years ago <laughs> said, I'll never suffer your foot to slip. And he said, are you listening? I'll never suffer your foot to slip. I'll be with you. And if you fall, I'll be there to catch you. I'll be there to you. Listen. Let us not fear, but let us have courage. Amen. Because our race is almost run. Yeah, Everything yeah. we do yeah. is for Somebody said to me the other day, Brother Chuck, I'm all packed up and ready to go. And I said, you might as well unpack. Huh? Because where we're going, everything yeah. is furnished. Yeah. 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 Unpack, folks. Your mommy went. I tell this now, I'm going to say that. Your right. mommy went to the funeral home uh, maybe a month ago. I guess it was. I preached a few, I preached 500 funerals. So we went to see the funeral director. And uh, he, he got the paper, if you'll make it. What do you want? But yes, we told him what to do, what we want. And uh, put this in the newspaper, put that in the newspaper. You know, we do a little, a little thing. We do the one in the extension, build them just something to put us in. He said, oh, just pick out anything in that book you want. I told my man, we can't do that. We don't, we don't have the word we want. We came out with stuff that's on the big page. Let's pick up something. Poor people, man. And we picked it out. We moved everything up. Thank you, Lord. We said, how much did you go to bed? He said, you preach your heart out all your life.